Hello, welcome to this new webinar. Today we will present the release highlights of the newest version of Sulfen uh, powered by Mark, Sulfen uh, 2022. Roman Martin and myself, Ronald Siad, will be the lecturers. And um, if you want to uh, place any any question, uh, use the the tool uh, for this. Uh, webinar and we will answer your question uh, as soon as as possible okay well as many of you already know uh civil frame power by mark uh it's a high-end general purpose finite element software for any type of engineering including civil structural mechanical geotechnical so uh, it's uh, suitable for any type of uh, analysis, in, uh, including static, dynamic, coupled analysis uh, with thermal and seepage. Mm, it's uh, created uh, the the core of Mark and Mentat is created from one of the most powerful uh, mechanical software uh, developers, which is uh, MSC Software. Uh, now part of hexagon group so any type of analysis can be uh, carried out uh, in a uh, civil film the release highlights of this newest version civil film 2022 are these ones uh, voxel mesh a new uh, mesh for excess new capabilities for composite materials you will see how to define uh, uh, different layers with different directions and angles including uh, a, re a new uh, result for these materials composite materials by the bombices plasticity In case you need to define your customized results, your user results, there's a new window and you can uh, um, define the, uh, your um, own results uh, using the, the, the ones which are already, um, the exist the already existing ones. And for solid sections, before you can uh, uh, create uh, captures of uh, solid elements, uh, so civil fan can integrate uh, the results. But now uh, insertions uh, are uh, are included. So if you want to um, set uh, bars inside, as we will see la later inside our um, concrete sections uh, uh, for instance uh, they will be uh, taken into account in the uh, stress result and for the forces and moments calculation uh, uh, will be uh, taken as well and um, as well uh, a new uh, code combinations uh, tool for Euro code and American ASC uh, standards. And of course, uh, the newest Mark Menta 2022 version as uh, measure and, and solver uh, is included. Uh, of course, you can uh, use any other version of Mark Menta, but we always recommend the uh, latest one. There is a new tool for meshing volumes if we have a 3d solid uh, volume uh, geometry you have this this volume uh, this volume is difficult to to map to create a, a to sweep uh, or to extrude a surface uh, mesh of uh, triangles or quadrilaterals so we have another options if you need to uh, mesh with uh, excess 
Okay. Um, so here in the control, the parasolid control, if you select exhadrons uh, in the element type, uh, pull uh, pull down menu, then you will have the voxel mesh uh, options. The a voxel mesh will uh, will fill uh, an, an enclosed uh, enclosed uh, volume uh, with the uh, voxels uh, excess of a predefined uh, size. Well, it can be cubes or or blocks if you want to to, to set different uh, size uh, uh, directions. Um, follow uh, different alignments, uh, global or principal directions, and. Uh, the methodology can be uh, chosen between uh, uh, element th uh, centroid inside geometry or element nodes inside the geometry. Um, well, usually this type of mesh is uh, primarily uh, used for uh, topology optimization. Okay, uh, here once we uh, well set the different. Uh, in this case, if we uh, select the cube as an element shape, we set uh, 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 an edge uh, size. We will uh, 0 0.5, uh, depending on the on the size of of the of this uh, thickness and, and the size of the volume. You can choose uh, a proper a proper uh, mesh uh, size. Okay. You will see that you will have here, well, a box and mesh. You see here are cubes. Okay. Well, more or less, it adjusts to the to the to the geometry, but uh, sometimes, of course. Uh, this uh, uh, approximation is uh, approximation is uh, maybe is not the is not the best is not the best one, okay? Because well, if you uh, in this case if you need um, accurate results on, on holes, uh, for instance, if you have a different uh, uh, geometry. In this case, these are circular holes, but uh, as you can see, as uh, voxel uh, excess were selected, you can see that the uh, holes are not very well uh, um, performed. Uh, the mesh, the mesh in those in those uh, areas. But well, if you just need uh, excess um, for types of, of geometry of, of meshes where well um, the the cubes matches the very well the the actual geometry that's okay what is the, here uh, for for this minecraft uh, sword uh, it matches perfectly well a very important feature for this for this new release is the composite materials these composite materials are mainly for use in, in, in cell elements to define different layers in the cell elements. So well, um, it, is, it is very important to define uh, some composite materials that have different behavior in different directions. So in, this, in these layers you can define the different properties uh, with orthotropic materials and uh, they could have only properties in one direction and uh, you, could, you can solve uh, these, these multiple layers in cell elements. Just here you can see this is this is the um, plot of the composite materials that we have solved an, an example of a model with a, a, for a slab, a concrete slab with non-linear behavior. So we'll, in this case we have defined it different layers for concrete and one layer for reinforcing. As we have smeared um, reinforcing uh, material here we cannot define bars uh, so we have to define an equivalent thickness and just define these material properties in one direction. In the other directions should be almost zero, so it is only working for one direction. So in this case we are solving a one-way one -way concrete slab 
it is supported in both uh, in both in this this opposite uh, the sizes of this rectangular and no boundary conditions in the others. So reinforcing materials are going to work only in one direction, but concrete is in both. So well, if I just open the, the software, here we can we can see uh, the model we have created, and this model is just a single slab uh, with cell materials, with cell, uh, cell elements, and the way to create this is here in models, we define different concrete materials, uh, reinforcing steel as well, or it could be a generic material for creating orthotropic, orthotropic properties. So we click here, well, just we set the different properties and we create an orthotropic material. So, well, in in our case, what we created here, we can see the model that we have created several materials. Uh, one of the materials is concrete, and this concrete behavior it has cracking, non-linear behavior with cracking. The critical uh, uh, crack stress, uh, tensile stress for cracking is 2 megapascals. And, well, um, and also we have defined a reinforcing steel with orthotropic material uh, properties. As you can see just in direction 1, that is x direction, it has um, regular properties um, for um, the elasticity modulus and, and the rest of them. But in the, in the others, we have set just 0 0.01 megapascal for the elasticity modulus, not completely zero, just a small value. And then in the composite material, composite, you can find the composite material model, composite materials, you define number of layers. In this case, we have defined nine layers, so we'll have nine layers of elements, so we can analyze how cracks uh, are increased in the, and grows in the thickness. And after Setting nine layers, just let one by one all layers. So the last layer should be the concrete uh, covering, and one or two layers before we have defined we have to define the reinforcing steel. Um, so well, the reinforcing steel here you can see we are going to use reinforcing steel uh, plasticity. This is orthotropic uh, plasticity, which is another new future of this release. So working with orthotropic uh, plasticity. Um, for defining reinforcing and gelling and reinforcement in the in one direction plus con non-linear concrete you can uh, model a full uh, non-linear slab concrete slab uh, for with cell elements and multiple layers so if we plot thickness we can see the multiple layers every layer look like a solid element with uh, so this is one layer two layers so we have several layers here and uh, up to nine layers, and the third one, started with the bottom, is the reinforcing, the reinforcing material. When we define the, um, the composite material, uh, a part of defining the number of the of layers, we have to set the orientation and the thickness. Here in this, this element, as you can see, if I plot axis, as you can see x direction is in the longitudinal direction, the x of the elements, so um, the for reinforcing in this, that direction, the orientation should be the orientation should be zero. If I would like to define another layer of reinforcing in the other direction, we have to set here the orientation 90 degrees. So it will be in in uh, y direction. So that is the way to define with composite materials different layers for concrete. So here, if I open results that I have previously solved. We have solved self-weight and self-weight plus an overload. We have increased that overload until it stopped converging. And uh, if I click here the values, it stopped converging for a safety factor of 4.35. So uh, the safety factor for that overload is, uh, is that value. And in example, if I plot this, this element that I'm going to plot with thickness, there I have results, I'm going to plot a maximum principal cracking strain, in example, and here I have, I'm going to, this is the last, just with the format shape, you can see it's working in just one direction, I'm going to plot the previous one before collapse, and well, these are the multiple cracks that are happening in the middle of a span, this is a simple support one-way slab, and you can see cracks are happening through the almost through the 
through the thickness, going layer by layer, and well, just we have jailing the reinforcing and the collapse of the of this structure. So well, this is one example uh, for this um, this um, uh, composite material, but you can apply it to multiple um, uh, applicabilities of this material. About the user results window, if we go to the results uh, tab, we have this uh, pressure vessel, and uh, we solve it with an uh, internal and an external pressure. We have well our load files of results, and we have our result files divided in in different groups. Okay, but here in others, in the others, uh, uh, besides the typical uh, displacement, reactions, contacts, okay, there is a way to uh, create our own uh, results, yeah, customized, uh, customized results. Before uh, in previous versions, we could do uh, perform that, uh, perform this using the Python scripts. But now there's a, a new user results window, which is uh, here. When we click here, we have this uh, window. We and the, the process is first to uh, include the result files we want to we want to use. Uh, we want to e extract uh, our new formulas. Okay, here we have to click. Once we have the our result file result files, we have to uh, click here to create a new a new result. Okay, uh, for example, uh, formula one. Okay, we select the type of results. It will be uh, reactions, uh, displacements, rotations from nodes, or stresses and strains from elements, forces and moments from uh, end results, uh, and the type of entity. Okay, we have we have it. Uh, we have it here. Okay. Uh, for example, if we want to uh, obtain uh, an from these uh, shell elements the square root of the sum sum of the squares of the shear force in x and y directions okay uh, so they are and we select uh, as well the, the unit this is uh, uh, the shear force for shells uh, force per unit length okay we click uh, on accept and now we can uh, use there's a help here and uh, you can use as well the, the user interface guide to type uh, here the, the the formula. So you have the different the different results here, okay? And you can use operators and these uh, functions, okay? If we want to obtain the square root of the sum of the, of the squares we can use these functions as the square root here the power is here okay we can use the different formulation define this new formulation okay the square root of the sum of the squares of the different shear forces we can use this and it's applied to these result files later we'll see how to access to those new results if we want to create a new other result for for nodes displacement length and we want to do the same for uh, for the nodes. 
we want to just uh, use the horizontal the square root of the sum of the squares of uh, displacement in x and in uh, z we do it here okay and we click apply we can create all the new results we want and how to access these results we go here others and we have them here okay for example the displacement In x, the component x, z, okay, it's here. If you want to use a clipping option, we have it here, okay, and we have the rest of results here. And now we can do it through the window, and before, but before we can, we could do it using uh, Python scripts. About the solid sections, well, uh, we have here an example of this uh, uh, hammerhead uh, pier. Uh, we have defined this with volumes and uh, we can uh, insert some uh, rebars in any any part in the in the in the hammerhead or in the in the columns or in the foundations they are all concrete we we have set as well some rubber rubber new prints here we have as, uh, defined different uh, uh, loads self weight and, and a combination of that way that the uh, loads uh, live loads and, and wind a horizontal load the thing here is that we uh, as i told you we have defined rebars here with the cable elements can be as well uh, beam elements and this one as well okay if we uh, go to each of our solid elements we have the utility that was uh, already existing solid sections okay we have defined three solid sections here we have defined different planes for capturing the sections uh, bottom mid middle plane and top plane okay we have defined there our sections inside we define them here add solid section and we just select the different coordination uh, co system of coordinates okay once we have them we uh, we can solve but now uh, so, uh, before we didn't have the, uh, the capability of taking into account the insertion of cable elements so once we have the results now we will have besides as you can see here besides results stresses on the concrete section we have results on the cable elements and the stresses are integrated into forces and and moments as you can see here okay here we have the different section bottom top and middle and here we can see the location of of this of this part okay then we can check the different sections with the interaction diagram okay here are the windows and now we will talk about the code combinations we can uh, we have a new utility to define uh, combinations according to the Eurocode and the American uh, ISC code. Okay, so defining uh, once we solve the different individual lot cases, 
the software will set the different uh, favorable and favorable uh, coefficients in case of the euro code and the same for the, the, the American code. Uh, for the euro code, of, uh, of course, there are more complicated uh, uh, coefficients. Uh, if, if we include the combination factors and uh, if we use the same uh, example with the different uh, codes, different uh, loads, we go here and in this is the typical user combination that you can do make your combinations uh, using factors in post-processing because you can do it here as well if you want but if we go to the new code combination window okay we can define our combinations here and you can see here the preview and we will it will create all these combinations okay and the same if it's for the ASD okay we have these ones and if we change them we here, here, see here the preview for the strength design design and the allowable stress design and we can we can calculate and new lot cases will be generated for its combination and then we can design and etc okay and the results are here here you can see all the new results are here you can generate a new report as well so you can see the the final results The knowledge uh, about uh, finite element analysis and CEA simulation uh, can be shared through our uh, tra training uh, channels. We have uh, different ways of uh, training. One is the FEM Masters, the International Masters in Theoretical and Practical Application of the finite element method and CEA simulation. Uh, the next course will be the 28th. Uh, this master's includes both fundamentals and practical application with the software. Uh, uh, the most important FEA packages, uh, including ANSYS, Patron Astron, and civil firm. The next enrollment dates are uh, September of this year, 2022, and the next uh, year in April there's a external extraordinary enrollment uh, date. You can uh, visit the the this web page for uh, further information, or you can. Uh, ask uh, us uh, through email or by phone or follow our social media and another way of uh, learning is the international online CEA education center in, in this case only uh, practice with the FEA software is included uh, totally e-learning and it uh, it's uh, a with flexible schedule, uh, so it will be uh, studied uh, at your pace and your own convenience. So you can start the course any time. Just visit uh, this website uh, so you can see all the available courses. And uh, there's a, a free FEM course uh, always available. So you can uh, check it out. And of course, if you need any uh, customized uh, course uh, online or on site, uh, please ask us for uh, further information because we can uh, uh, create any tailored um, course for you. In Cyber, 
also offers consultancy services. So if you are interested in the analysis of any type of project for uh, all types of engineering uh, industries, for civil, uh, mechanical, geotechnical, uh, including uh, photovoltaic industry, fiber reinforced concrete structures, uh, even uh, um, CFD, solid structure interaction, please uh, ask us uh, for any information uh, so we can uh, carry out uh, the analysis you, you need for your uh, project using uh, any type of uh, of software, in, uh, uh, including civil fem, ANSYS, MSC software. So that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, please uh, visit our websites for Inca Cyber and civil fem. Um, our contact email is uh, uh, info at ingesiber.com and you can visit as well our social media uh, we have facebook youtube uh, twitter uh, linkedin uh, uh, channels and uh, please complete the survey which will be will appear once the session ends uh, this will help us for uh, the next webinars and the next developments of the software and uh, it will uh, uh, very appreciated. Stay safe. Bye-bye.